See a little bait activity? See if we can't get on a few fish. Appreciate y'all coming along with me. Hang with me, let's put some fish in the boat. That's number one. Little 10 inch fish. That joker's full too. Good to see them feeding in the daytime though. That's on a little straight, on a little straight short trues jig. Just get back down there, see if we can't get a bigger one. That's just a little 130 second. So let me tell you, this summer I've committed to fishing one of the toughest lakes in this area. And let me tell you, there are so many things that you learn when the fish are just uh, hard to get on. There are things that you just just uh, go out and try in areas you find and, and new spots you, you locate. Now, I must say, it don't make for a very good video, but hey, that searching and moving and changing jig colors and changing depths makes for a lot of learning. And uh, you'll see here the, the bite sort of coming around. I end up getting on some very good fish. Y'all stick around and see what I got to do and what I end up using to get on these fish. Mm-hmm. Yo, bitties. Mm, something had hold to that joker. Is this what we gonna deal with today? Well, y'all know what that shaking fish mean. Little old love mincher. And I've been on the search, y'all. These fish is on a different level this year. They on a different level. I'll tell you that. Oh yeah, 811. That's the first fish for the box. First fish going in the box. Some may say that jig colors don't make a difference. I'll tell you this, I see it proven different almost every trip. If what you're doing is not working, make those changes. As you can see here, this water is a lot dirtier. There are times that finding different water clarity will hold better fish or fish that are feeding. So I had to give it a try. How many of y'all are ready for the cooler weather to get rid of these jet fleas? Oh yeah. 
through that Wally Marshall mood, and it wasn't on the bottom. Down his throat. Mm-hmm. If I can repeat that. I must admit, it's been a while since I've felt a thump with weight behind it like it, this fish gave me. Hey, let me tell you, as most who make videos know, those slow times, it's hard to keep that camera rolling with a bunch of blank footage. But hey, we're on to something here. You see me grabbing another jig with the color that I caught this fish on. I think this is gonna be the, the, the lick for the day. Let's put this jig on. Let's get on some more fish. And like I always say, being willing to make changes usually always pay off. Let me tell you, these fish are playing my emotions. How is it that I caught a couple good fish and here it is, they're not wanting my offering down there. And I know they are there. Let's give it a shot. Let's see what's gonna happen here. I may not show my frustrations very well, but trust me, it can get frustrating out here chasing these fish. But guess what? Then this happens, and you got a BAM in your hand. Ten inch. I'll go ahead and answer the question of what am I putting on my jig right here. I'm adding a crappie nibble. Scent is almost always a necessity, uh, especially on those slow bite, slow bite days. Hey, scent helps. Let me tell you, these fish keep me humble. Be prepared because they will train you. These fish are not your average fish that you're gonna go out there and not think about what you're doing. You will have to think now let me not, let me say this there are times when it's just super easy you go out there you can throw anything in the water and catch these fish but it's those tough days that that you have to worry about and they come often It ain't fast, but it is good. Trust me, have confidence that what you're doing is gonna work. Make those changes, move, it will work. I'm showing you here. Get out there, get on those fish. Big old heavy girl too.
Oh yeah. Ten and a half. <laughs> I'll be glad when I can get out of these flying fish. Those flying fish, I tell you, they've been plaguing me. Well, ten and a half, ten and a quarter, ten and a half. Still fun, having fun. He might make it. He might make it, y'all. He might make it. Mmm, save my crappie nipple. Thank you. He touched that line, y'all. He touched that line. As y'all seen on that slow-mo zoom, they don't all thump fire from the jig. You have to be very careful and pay attention. So y'all comment down there in the comment section and let me know what jig pattern would you like to see in the next giveaway. No, this isn't the giveaway vid, but I want to go ahead and have the jigs tied so that when I do do the giveaway, I'm already prepared, but just let me know what color pattern you would like to see in the next jig giveaway. You got something going on on this tail. And let that one make it. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that thumbs up for me. And also, to those of you that have not subscribed, please do so. More coming soon.